How long are you willing to work to accomplish a goal or a dream? For this Louisville woman, the number is 71, 71 years. But today, she did it. Jeff Paul, all new at 6 o'clock. Frankie Sprayberry is a little overwhelmed. The band, the crowd, and the occasion are all for what she didn't finish. This is one of the happiest days in my life. At 88 years old, she still hasn't graduated from high school. As I continued to grow and learn, I began to feel the uh, loss. Her absence of a diploma wasn't for a lack of smarts, but health. Sprayberry was heading back from a movie in Denton her senior year with her future husband when they were hit head on by a drunk driver. Knocked my shoes off. I was crippled, couldn't walk. Bedridden for months, Sprayberry couldn't finish her last semester in 1946. She then married and moved away as her husband joined the Air Force. For years, I dreamed that I was back in school studying for my exams and getting ready to graduate. That moment, minus the tests, is today. Louisville ISD caught wind of the situation and organized a proper graduation with full honors. Today is about never giving up. While it took her seven decades to walk across that stage, Sprayberry is proving it's never too late to chase your dreams, even if it takes a lifetime to get there. Look forward to tomorrow. Don't look back at mistakes. In Louisville, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. Frankie Sprayberry, by the way, also says she's looking forward to spending time with her grandkids, maybe getting back into painting. And the kids say that while she hasn't given any hints at college, they know they probably shouldn't put it past her based <laughs> on what she just did. So we'll see. I 